Yeah, it's good to have uh, yeah a couple of couple of big big names back for us. And um, yeah, I suppose the Cheetahs match and the Glasgow match are both games we could easily have lost. So they're, they're sometimes the ones that are nearly the most enjoyable to to win. You know, because uh, obviously getting last minute kicks in both of them, is, you don't you don't want to do that every week. But it's it's nice to know you can do it if, if you need to. And like a lot of, a lot of so the young lads, especially. In the uh, in the Cheetahs match, showed a lot of a lot of battle and showed show, show, show what they can do. Um, yeah. And Zebra this weekend. Yeah, and Zebra this weekend. Now um, over in Italy, now it'll be tough. I imagine it'll be cold cold down there and, and wet. It, it always is at this time of year down there. So uh, yeah, look, they'll be missing a few internationals as well, but um, they'll be a tough test. I think they only lasted there once all year so far. So um, at home, so uh, it's not an easy place to go. And I'm sure uh, Michael Bradley will have them champion the bit together. Yeah, from a Zebra point of view, they have improved this season in particular. Yeah, the Italian yeah. teams have. Yeah. Have you noticed a difference in, uh, when you're analysing them? Yeah, they just seem to play. I'd say it's kind of from the top down. Italian rugby are going through that. You know, Conor Shea has come in and they're playing a lot more expansive rugby and they're just trying to change it up. But they, they used to be traditionally a great kicking side, whereas now they're kind of exiting efficiently and playing in the right areas and um, they're just a, you know, a team that's a lot harder to play against. How difficult is it to stay focused on these kind of games when there's so much distraction in the rugby world, lads are away? Yeah, there is distraction but for, for fellas like myself and lads who aren't away in national camp, this is the only thing we're focusing on now. You know, we had a week, week holidays there two weeks ago, um, we had that and then we trained last week, it's kind of been all zebra since then and to be honest, it's kind of a, a longer lead. It's a Sunday game as well. It's a longer lead than the normal. And to be honest, I'm just looking forward to getting back on the pitch and playing rugby. You know, because if obviously we got, we got a break, um, it's enjoyable to have that. But um, you know, it's still middle of the season. Just looking forward to getting back playing, and get the get the momentum. I think for us at the moment, you know, we we, we won four in the bounce with, with Europe and stuff, and we're on about those um, those close matches and. You just want to get that momentum going and, and keep it going, you know. Because I think if we could have managed to win this weekend, hopefully win it at home the following weekend, and then, and then you're into Europe, and it's just all about keeping that momentum going. And I think that's rugby is about momentum and just getting that winning habit, keeping that as a winning is a habit, you know. Um, obviously, it'd be nice if we didn't have to leave to the last minute like uh, Glasgow and, and Cheetahs, and uh, you know. But um, yeah, it's, it's, that's look forward to getting back out in the field. How big a monkey off the back was that away win? Because you'd struggled on the road. Or yeah, we, we didn't really make a big deal of it. I know, I know we have done, and, and I suppose <coughs> the Cheetahs, while uh, obviously away from home they're not great, in Bloemfontein they're a tough team to beat, and I think it was, looking back at it, it, is a big, it was a big relief but at the time. You could see fellas were very happy after, and, and I think there was a, a really uh, you know, good mix of young, young Munster players coming through who, who played really well in that last 30 minutes. You know, it was a young side in the pitch, and... Um, yeah, I, I was really impressed with um, how, 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 how they, a lot of the lads fronted, on, fronted up, a lot of the young fellas, and uh, growing out that win. So it was a big monkey off our back, yeah. Last one for me, you spoke about lads that aren't in camp and lads that are in camp. Yeah. Like, you'll have possession of a jersey when people come back. That's Is it. that the biggest carrot for these That's guys? That's it, exactly, yeah. So, like, obviously, like, say, like John will be coming back next week, I presume he'll be probably involved in that USA match. So I suppose it's an opportunity for me to lay down a claim, you know, uh, and... Put in a big performance and you know show the coaches what I can do and um, that, that's my main focus this weekend anyway from a, from a personal level and, and I'm sure there's other fellas in the squad who'll be doing something similar.